This section of the exhibition is dedicated to uniforms. During World War II, of course, a sizable percentage of the population was in uniform. Right next to me are uniforms for the Navy. The women participated in the Navy, and they were called WAVES, Women Accepted for Volunteer Emergency Service. I don't think I could ever put into words what it means to salute the colors each evening. For this new section of the Navy, they called upon an American designer to design the uniforms. And the designer that was chosen was Mamboche. That was his professional working name. His real name was actually Maine Bakker, and he was from Chicago. So um, Mamboche designed three different uniforms for the waves. Um, and we have two of these behind me. One of them is a, is a navy. It's the winter uniform. That's sort of the main uniform. The navy uniform was given by Elise Kahn Rosenberg, who was the woman who wore it. Then there was also a seersucker, a gray seersucker uniform, which was the summer work uniform. And there was a third uniform, which you don't see in this exhibition, which was a white summer uniform. The seersucker uniform was a gift of Elizabeth D. Cheapus. We also have a man's uniform from the Navy, and it was an, it was an commander's uniform and this and you can tell the rank of the person by the insignia on the sleeve and in this case he has three bars and a star which signifies commander the commander's uniform was worn by alexander m smith and was donated to the university by his wife women also served in world war ii as as nurses in the Red Cross. We have a couple of Red Cross uniforms here in the exhibition. One of them is for a volunteer nurse's aide, and the other is for military welfare service. The, the nurse's aide was uh, Helen Ensinger. She donated this piece to us. And then the other one was Frances Richardson, who was also the donor of her uniform. The uniforms behind me are from the Army. The Army during World War II actually also included the Army Air Corps, which became the Army Air Force, um, which was part of the Army until after World War II. He was a famous trumpet man from Algeria. And we have a representative um, uniform from that. We have the bomber jacket that was worn by Herman Wagner. And then um, we also have the uniform of Frank Hudak, which includes not just the dress uniform, but also the alternate jacket, which is called the Eisenhower jacket.